Okay, here's a little tutorial of how I'm setting up XPatter with the latest version of Hyperspin or Hyperlaunch HQ. I've had a little bit of trouble, so I've uh, went ahead and made this tutorial once I got it going. The biggest problem is probably having the latest version of XPatter. That was probably my biggest issue. But anyway, I'll go ahead and show you. I've set up a few emulators. I'll go ahead and show uh, how I'm doing. Sega Genesis using Fusion. So here we go. Um, I mean, here you show I'm using this version here, which is working fine. Um, you want to plug in your controller and set up a default, I guess, controller profile. This is what I have set up right now for Hyperspin for the front end. Um, Once you have that, open up Hyperlaunch. You want to make sure you have the path to your XPatter EXE, which mine is here. You know, you just hit the little magnifying glass. The front end profile name, I put Hyperspin. I've checked these boxes. I'm not sure if they matter, but. Uh, this is what I got here. Down here, key mapper. I have enabled true. This is just preferred controller. I'm not even using this controller. As an example, I have a 360 wire controller plugged in at the moment. And then key, map, key mapper X pattern then false and I'm doing Sega Genesis and it's just using global and I go up here to key mapper while Sega Genesis is highlighted go to X pattern if I go to global you'll see I have hyperspin that's my uh, that's my default whenever it exits out of a game and goes to hyperspin and I can test it by hitting this here and then I'm on the controller I'm pressing up and you'll see it says I pressed up and then down A is return B is escape etc and then for Sega Genesis what I first do is I open up My emulator, so I go to Sega Genesis Fusion, and make sure the keys I got mapped to the keyboard. Here's the controller. I'm using a six pad, and then once I define them down here at the bottom, it's going to ask me which buttons I'm pressing. So on the keyboard, I'm pressing up, down, left, right, and then the keys I'm using for on the keyboard, I'm using for A. I'm just using Z, X, C one for start X Y Z five for mode that's it there click OK and close that out and then once you're back in uh, Hyperlaunch HQ I click Sega Genesis for this example I just add an emulator profile using Fusion. And you'll see it went blank there. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my arrow keys I was using from what I set up in Fusion. Uh, back I used one. Start. Or actually that was mode which was five. Start was one. Then I use Z, X, C.
in ASD. And then hit the little save button here. And then to test it, just click that, click the bottom one, and hit the lightning bolt thing. And then on the controller, I'm pressing up, down, left, right. You'll see it typing up here. And I'm hitting A, B, X, Y, and the bumpers. So it's all working correctly there. X out of there. One thing I did have to do is I had to go into my Hyper Launch INI settings, which is under Hyper Spin Hyper Launch settings. And in the INI there, I had to make sure under Key Mapper, on mine it said Key Mapper front end profile equals true. And once I changed that to X Patter, and I exited out of the emulator, it would go back to hyperspin and XPatter would default to the uh, hyperspin profile by doing that. I believe that's about it. And then I can just run hyperspin and it should work. So here we go. Start on the controller. <laughs> now, for the controller keys, what I'm using is the. Let me see if I can make sure I find this right. I have it set up to use 5 and 1 as my start and back button so I uh, you know I go to global and it uses escape if I'm using the keys on the keyboard but I'm, I also added 5 and 1 as my exit emulator and 5 and 1 when using X pattern is my back and start button so when I, once I press uh, start and then back it'll exit the emulator and then that transfers to Sega down here and any em emulator I'm using. So that's it. Um, hopefully this helped you guys. It helped me. I had a lot of issues getting this going. So hopefully that helped you guys going. Uh, thanks and bye.